Hey there everybody, Jack Barnwell here in beautiful Southwest Florida. Today we thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys through a recent smaller residential landscape installation. Uh, this one, the clients uh, were really, um, really excited about working on this project with us because they had seen some of our other similar, smaller little projects like this and it was a really unique one that they knew we were sort of the perfect fit for. Uh, this is a new development here in Florida and all of these homes along this whole street really got one of two landscape packages from the builder. And right across the street here you'll see package A, as they called it literally, and this is what this home had on it before. It was very stark, very plain, and really not at all up to par with what the, the current owners had in mind whatsoever for their Florida um, lifestyle and their Florida home here. So we, we ripped almost all of that stuff out. We left a few things like this shady lady false olive tree there. Uh, we, we did leave, but almost everything else we, we ripped out and reimagined with some much, much nicer plant material, including these two beautiful big royal palm trees out front here some gorgeous cordelines and just a, a totally new concept in elevating the whole thing. But this whole entire thing was uh, done and installed in just a couple of days and it really transformed this little oasis here that they have. We, where we've got annual flowers, we dug out deep and re-amended and you know, completely changed the soil structure underneath the annual plantings. In fact, all of the beds we dug out and hauled about 20 yards of existing builder grade sandy soil, took it right out of here, and brought in new, healthy, beautiful soils to plant all this new plant material, new palms and everything into. So we know that this landscape is gonna mature and last for many, many years, looking really, really beautiful. Another neat feature is we surrounded the whole driveway in this beautiful stone. We did, this is a called Brookstone here. It's a nice blend of different colors, some beautiful plum colors and blues and grays. And what that does is it allows you to rinse off the driveway or in a big, big rain, the driveway is able to shed into here and they're more or less like driveway gutters. So the water can rush into here and drain off without going right into the bed and pulling all the mulch or soils and stuff with it and pulling a lot of that you know, down into the driveway, which is fairly unsightly. So it really cleans this little courtyard parking area up a lot. And uh, I think it's a nice, nice look. We added a lot of lighting. So along here, all these palms, really all the palms and trees have up lighting on them. And we have a bunch of path lighting and stuff. So it's, you know, again, really elevated the whole look of things at night. Throughout this video here, we'll be putting some photos and things in of what it looked like before so you can really appreciate what was done here. But we'll also include a couple of photos of what it looks like at night because the lighting is really quite stunning, including these beautiful new aqua pots right up front here. These were just installed as well and we put these little well lights in, in grade, and they shine up and illuminate these beautiful matte black aqua pots, which are quite stunning. These will look really big and beautiful flanking this entryway um, and we'll change those out annually. So they'll get big and get really, really, you know, quite mature and lush, especially with these big white bird of paradise in there and these cordial lines and everything. They'll be massive, but once a year we'll clean them out completely and replant these so they always look fresh and colorful and fun um, at that location and right here as well. At um, between the garages. But the front of this landscape really, you know, came around and is gonna look quite nice. We've got a nice hedge of podocarpus there that'll fill in and thicken up to really block the neighboring house out and make this a really sweet little entry oasis. But what we did in the back and the lanai around the pool and the view out to the waterway is really pretty awesome. So let's go around out back and we'll show you what that's all about.
All right, so out back here, we've got a, you know, somewhat of a typical Florida screen lanai, right, with the pool and everything. And the reason why people have those around in South Florida here, or really all over Florida, is, um, is because of the bugs, to keep the bugs at bay and to keep that space really nice and clean in the pool and the nye area. They've got outdoor dining and barbecuing and TVs and things in them, depending on how elaborate they are. And it makes that space really nice and conducive to hanging out. It also cuts some of this intense, intense sun. So if you don't want to be super nice and dark tan like yours truly all the time, then the pool cage can keep things about 30 to 50% less uh, less sunny depending on the type of screen that's chosen back here for the landscape again around the the original uh, builder grade landscape they really had pretty much nothing planted in front of the the pool cage or anything like that so we added a, a lot of cool ideas and cool plants um, including some beautiful hibiscus this is a really pretty Hawaiian sunset hibiscus Look at the inner throat in there. It's got that deep plum red, pink fading out to this just gorgeous like mango, orangey yellow. Really pretty guy there. But we planted this coconut tree and as you can see it's got a little lean intentionally. We lean that out just a little bit so as it ages in time it's kind of growing out toward the water here. And as, you, as I mentioned, the water here, they do have their own little boat. And the reason for that is this tiny little uh, canal, this little channel actually hooks up to the Miramar Lakes. So there's a huge lake system here. We're right outside of um, Estero and uh, Bonita Beach, Florida, south of Fort Myers is where we're located right now. And these lakes are pretty huge and you can boat all around and water ski and boat to cool little bars and restaurants and stuff that are all interconnected in this little community. So it's pretty neat to be able to have a boat and just zip around and go out to dinner or whatever you want. Um, but we, we uh, included this big coconut tree here, a couple of twin Montgomery palms to give you that palmy kind of tropical feel, block out the houses across the way but ensure that the view of the water down below them is maintained. So from inside, which we'll show you in just a minute, it looks really, really nice. Even now and at maturity, once this stuff really fills in, it'd be quite stunning. These guys are some dwarf bougainvillea. You get all that color out of those. And these are actually leaves. They're not really technically flowers. The flower of the bougainvillea is just this thing this tiny, tiny little white flower inside of there is the actual flower. Often people don't know that. They think this whole thing is the flower, but these are not flowers. They're just leaves um, that are colorful. Um, they are one of the most popular ornamental landscape plants down here is the bougainvillea. So it gives you the, some really, really great color and they're most colorful in the winter time. Um, which is when a lot of these folks are down here enjoying these homes. So that's why it's such a popular plant for us to use. Um, as you can see around the lanai here, we added that brook stone as well. Really cleans up this whole entire space and allows for access to kind of walk around, clean the, the uh, screen off and things like that, keeping the landscape a little bit further away from the screen keeps things you know just really really nice and clean and then we added in these path lights here so that at night they shine or light into the water and the pool and everything there it illuminate these uh, these plantings and up lighting these palms back here really makes this whole entire space just really really cool and serene quite stunning so we'll duck into the lanai here and I'll show you what this is all about So as you can see, they have quite a beautiful little oasis here. Nice space to just sit and enjoy a glass of wine in the evening and look out. We are looking kind of 
southwest right now so the sunsets are just unbelievably stunning in that far western sky out there down the waterway and i really like the way that this turned out the whole intention of this back landscape was to increase the size of those beds quite a bit in the back there add some palms for some texture and break up that that horizon just a little bit and really show off the water and the boats and stuff as they as we've done there and in time like i said with as this stuff matures the podocarpus hedge hibiscus hedge will thicken up we'll be able to screen out some of the the neighbor there make this hot tub space a little bit more private this is a cool cool hot tub feature here too it's like a infinity tub so the tub itself can be set warmer and then as the water overflows it just connects up with the pool it's just a beautiful beautiful look pretty stunning little space here these clients have been really really sweet to work with they're really happy with the way this one turned out um, we've got quite a few quite a few of these going right now in the design kind of uh, chamber and um, we've, we've got some really large scale projects uh, happening right now but these little ones are sometimes the most fun to just get really intimate spaces knocked out come in crank them out in a day or two we, on this one we work with my buddy Robert Soto and his team and they were able to you know bring a big army in here and crank this one out in, like I said two or three days so it's really cool that it's it's you know been a couple weeks since this one's installed all the plants are looking really, really happy, and I think it's going to mature beautifully in the years to come. So thanks for uh, tuning along and checking this one out with us. We'll have a lot more videos coming soon of stuff we're doing in Florida, stuff we're doing in northern Michigan, and everywhere in between. So stay tuned, and we'll see you guys all again in the next video. Cheers.